I'm David the Bruce, and today on Jungle Queen, we've got a very interesting one for you. It's called Perils of the Jungle. Perils of the Jungle, yes. And uh, it used to be 10 episodes long. I mean, this was amazing. And it was done really well, according to everything that I could read on it. Uh, and I say read because all we have left of this wonderful silent era series of this jungle queen is 19 minutes that's it if you've seen the white gorilla footage from this series was put into that they they, they snipped it up and put it in it and uh so you know we we can see some other parts as well but uh, that uh, film was horrible. It was just pasted together. There was a, a simple story thrown in with some with an actor and an actors, you know, and then some narration. It was really dumb. And uh, you kind of wonder why it was made. I guess because they had the footage from this amazing film that you're about to see. But we have put in some great music, so I think you're going to like it. And it stars Eugenia Gilbert. Ah, no, I know you've never heard of her, Eugenia Gilbert. But, uh, yeah, she, man, she did over 60 films during the 1920s in Hollywood. She started out in New York, New Jersey, and moved to L.A. after school. And she entered a beauty contest. She won. And no less than Rudolph Valentino, the, you know, the heartthrob of the 20s, called her the most beautiful woman in America. Whoa. And her Hollywood career was launched. And it, she did films just about every year during the 1920s, over 60 of them. And then in 1930, she retired. She was through. She never made the A-lister column. You know, she did a lot of films. She was just never the person, you know what I'm saying, in the film. So she retired. She became a fashion model, later married, settled in uh, Santa Monica. And that's it. And that's just about all I can say about her life. But she is uh, just a thrill to watch. She's just a, 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 you know, a young woman who just had big dreams, just huge dreams, and finally decided that she couldn't achieve what uh, she really wanted to. Sometimes I wonder what would have happened had she stuck it out just a little bit longer. You know, sometimes all it takes is just the right director or the right part, you know, and it can be elusive, but it happens. It certainly has happened.
woman was the mother of the little jungle boy. Her years in the jungle had taught her that the natives believed the insane harmless and possessed untold powers. One of feeble mind was safe from all harm. To the natives, taboo. To protect herself and the boy, she pretended to be just that, insane. Known as tiger men, the natives who inhabited the Cyclops cave worshipped the idols there. Discovering this, the woman secretly hollowed out one of them and taught the boy to lower and raise the idol's arms at her command. This display of her supposedly supernatural powers gave the woman control over the natives, so far as her own and the boy's safety was concerned. When the tiger men informed her that white people were in camp close by, she ordered them brought to the cave secretly hoping through them to effect the escape of herself and the boy from the jungle. The beast of the jungle seemed to sense that something unusual was about to happen. Tiger men surrounded Bradford's camp and proceeded to carry out the woman's orders. returned with their prisoners, the woman realized that something was wrong. She had ordered them brought in to her, but not this way. The tiger men had plans of their own, plans to sacrifice the whites to starve, imprison, maddened killers. Thank you. 